If you've ever installed a program on a computer, chances are you've come into the 32 or 64 bit installer options to go with your 32 bit or 64 bit CPU. Then you've jumped on the Googles to see which one's better and what's better, a 32 or 64 bit CPU, and you found millions of answers to your question. But what is the difference? Well, first off, we need to break it down, actually understand what a single bit is to understand what 32 or 64 of them are. A single bit just refers to one or zero in a line of binary code. That one bit can represent up to two values, either again being one or zero, with two bit being able to express up to four, three bit up to eight, and so on and so forth, but it doesn't really scale one to two and all those kind of things like that. A bit more math required. Okay, so we understand what they are, but what's the difference between a 32 bit CPU and a 64 bit CPU? And how come I can choose in the installer? I just want to install my game! Okay, so for that answer really quickly, a 32-bit processor can address 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a 64-bit one can address about 16 billion gigabytes. Now with that out the way, it goes a bit deeper than that, but in all, it's sort of how much RAM they can address, not really the performance. Now if you think that more RAM equals more performance, you're kind of wrong, and I'm sorry to say, but you're not really right there. We actually did a video explaining whether more RAM actually increases performance, but in all, it doesn't really help unless you're doing something like rendering or video editing, where more RAM will obviously equal more performance. Okay, so whilst I've been Googling, I've also found that 64-bit CPUs are just faster and so much better than their 32-bit counterparts, hence why Apple has gone ahead and moved their iPhone 6 and 6 Plus to 64-bit. Now, whilst you may be right that the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus are on 64-bit, the thing you're missing out is that 32-bit chips are generally based on last gen, so anything that's 64 being compared to 32 is going to be different generation. So we'll give you an example for this, a very hypothetical one. If we take an Intel Core i5 4570 and with the new HD graphics 4600, which is obviously going to be faster than the older i5 3570 with older HD 2500 graphics, obviously that new one one's going to be faster, but it's not the actual graphics that are actually making it any faster. In fact, it's actually the architecture of the CPU design that's going to make it faster. So let's say we put both of them with HD graphics 2500. We're still going to see a performance increase in the newer CPU because of the fact that the CPUs are just better overall rather than the actual graphics and that's how the bits actually work. The amount of bits, so 64 or 32, doesn't actually really affect the amount of performance you're getting out of that chip. Most people just compare them because they're same different things and the generations are a bit different. Okay, so I'm this far into the video and you really haven't given me a straight answer. What is better? 32 or 64? Well, most of the case, it doesn't really get left up to you to choose 64 or 32. It's generally up to manufacturers. But for sort of a baseline and kind of idea level, 4 gigs of RAM or less, 32, more than 4 gigs is 64. And that's sort of the general rule of thumb. Now, the reason why the programs will give you an option for 32 or 64 is because some people are still using older systems with 32-bit CPUs. And modern games are even now coming out with only 64-bit options, but still lots of them do offer a 32-bit uh, section of the installer. So in all, bits refer to how much RAM the CPU can address and doesn't really reflect on how much performance that chip has. With most people comparing old gen CPUs with new ones with 32 and 64, it's really hard to get a baseline because not many companies are coming out with two different SKUs of the exact same process. So it's either 32 or 64, no more. To find out what your CPU is with 32 or 64, there's a few things you can do. The One of the easiest things is to check the box that your computer came in or the CPU came in. Generally, they'll tell you what bit they are. If they don't, you can go ahead and take that mod number, chuck it in Google and it'll give you there. Or you can go ahead and find the properties in Windows and go ahead and tell you there. If you're running Mac, it's just in about this Mac and a bit of digging is required there. As always, guys, like or dislike the video accordingly. Let me know what you think. 6432, is it just a conspiracy over? Overall. And as always guys, give us a sub if you like this kind of content and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Thank you for watching.